back to another episode of 7 Days That I Alpha 19. Today we return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in the latest update to 7 Days to Die and our series on it, where just last episode we did a little bit of exploration largely over here in the western town that we are relatively newish to, and we managed to stumble across another settlement, which now means there's a settlement slash trader right there that we can get quests from and trade with, and an entirely different trader over here to the east with his own stock of stuff and all that jazz we've kind of decided to build a little bit of an outpost here since we haven't really invested into like one kind of like solid base it's still early days right it's only day three over here after all we still got a little bit of time before that day seven horde does decide to appear and our giant massive zombie horde that we gotta fend off uh, also happens to appear that'll be very fun 10 out of 10 so in the meantime i've just been trying mainly to go out and make sure they're doing a lot of loot and make sure they were getting a lot of experience so we can level up and i ideally just become stronger as an actual character over here i mean besides i mean with those glasses dude i'm cool i could just kill i could kill the zombies by just looking at them i'm so cool right but uh yeah we did just actually finish looting up this little gas station and kind of choosing it to be our home base slash outpost for this little western town i'm still not 100 sure which town i'm gonna ultimately want to settle down in i do think that one of these two is gonna be a good candidate for that obviously another big thing that i do want to do is make sure that we craft a vehicle hopefully early on so we can explore a little bit outside of our relatively limited kind of sphere thus far because with vehicles we get increased mobility and with increased mobility we can continue exploring and ideally yay! trying to find ourselves some very nice locations out and about because y'all know me i want to find that shotgun raid factory baby the shotgun messiah factory one of personally my most favorite and mythical locations within the game and can i parkour nope that parkour was absolutely awful uh well here's the thing right i'm gonna go let's get a little bit of wood let's try to find ourselves uh, where is three i mean i guess i can just hit a couple of these bushes here Get a little bit of wood from that because I just need a little bit here so I can craft the wood frame block for a little bit of parkour. I actually might need a little bit more if I do want to get as high as I want to try to get. Uh, yeet! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I do got to be careful because I do remember there being like burbs around here. But we do have a few stores, actually. The reason I decided to, uh, whatchamacallit, set up shop in this passing gas for this little western town was because it's right by the trader and right by... A few pretty cool, we got like a little uh, urgent care area over there that should get us some nice medical supplies. The crack a book store, which hopefully will get us some nice perks and blueprints. That would be really nice to help us with our crafting expertise and all that. And all right, I know I'm about to be swarmed by freaking zombie burbs. And oh, this thing I do need to repair. We got to get some rocks for that. So I'll do a little bit of stabby stabs. I have a few nice spears over here. Maybe I'll toss them at some of the burbs, but hello, birdies. Are you still over here, if I'm not mistaken? No, we're pretty bird free. Uh, for now. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but with this Aldo's cabinet, this is a really nice little location for us to try to get to the top of, because near the top, and let me see if I can actually- Ah, they're birds! Ah, ha, ha! Where'd you tell me it's come from? Back, demons! Back! Ow! They abrased my ankle! Ah! Okay, well, that's what I get. I thought that we juked them. We did not juke them. Luckily, this aloe cream is perfect for healing our abrasion. It actually does it by 200%. So I'm going to actually take a few of these because every time we take one, never mind. I thought we'd actually have our abrasion in time again. But yes, we are suffering a little bit. I'm going to have to go and take some. I, I'm going to have to like eat some kind of medical supply to try and uh, well help with the fact that we now have an infection that is gonna be growing in the bottom left hand corner we're at 0.2%, so we definitely gotta do something about that. And can I parkour up this? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there should be some zombies that run out of here. Hopefully no more burbs. The burbs are what I fear. Hello, no runners? Beautiful, I can just take my time and stab y'all. To the face, to the face. Okay, might need to do a little bit more jukey type maneuvers. Bop. Nice. So switch it up a little bit because the stone hammer, I got to honestly grab a few rocks to repair that thing. But we can get a little bit of stone spear usage in and yeet! Toss that puppy a little bit too. Oh, this man's starting to pick up his pace a little bit. Nah, 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 nah. Sayonara! Nice! And beautiful. With that, we've taken down all these fellers and we've gotten to the top, which is primarily the main thing I'm concerned with with the Aldo's cabinet. There's a few more things that we could get to, but personally, I just want to get to the top. Nice, quick, and easy loot. We'll grab some of the stuff we're looking for. Does Goldenrod see? 
Mm, we're not really too thirsty or hungry at the moment. We do have the weapons bag. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. And we just got some more uh, big old stone sledgehammers. And honestly, what I could do here, instead of like having to repair this one, because like we're going to find so many of these weapons, right? I'll just kind of transfer my mods to the one that actually has some durability left and just kind of get to using that. Ooh. That had a few things up in there. The bandolier mod, amongst some other things. We got like a nice little scrap glove here. Still no guns or anything. I do think we got to continue leveling up. Leveling up our looting perks and a few things like that. Leveling up in general so we can actually level up the looting perks. And just overall follow the seven days to die ecosystem, hopefully, to success. We do have to go and turn in a quest over there. But I'm having quite a little bit of fun in this town. And I think once a new day does dawn upon us, there's literally a hospital, a giant hospital location, dude. I want to loot that up, even though it'll primarily be medical supplies. And right now, early game, I tend to like going after more like weaponry, you know, and just trying to actually get our hands on the proper tools with which to deal with like zombie hordes and stuff like that. I mean, the thing with like huge locations, like a hospital, for example, they tend to have good stuff like anyways and various like we might seriously be able to find like guns and stuff up there too, which wouldn't be too bad, but... Uh, oh, 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 I will skin the burbs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We do have this bone knife, and I did kind of forget that, well, I killed these birds. I was too terrified and too focused on getting onto the loot up top side. And then there's the other birdie, birdie, birdie. I'll go ahead and loot you up so we can get our hands on some feathers, which we can then put towards a crafted up a nice set of arrows. And TBH, I might make a quick pit stop over at our gas station. Just to drop off a few of the things we picked up and also to eat something that will hopefully cure that infection that we have going on because the more, like y'all can see, it's grown to 0.9%. That infection, it is spreading within us. We need to take care of that. Luckily, I do think that I still have some honey, which can take care of mild cases of infections, right? I still got that honey. I didn't eat a beautiful one jar of honey, baby. That'll take care of 5% of an infection. Let's go. And I think that does make us actually immune to an infection for a little bit too. I'm not sure how long, but I do believe it is a little bit. And with a few of those things put away, I'll honestly just go ahead and scrap a few of these like stone weapons. I mean, they're just, they're, they're, just, they're not worth anything. So they're not worth like holding on to really, unless we plan on like, I don't know, our current one's breaking. But honestly, if we scrap them, we could just get some stones out of them and use those to repair things because that's all that these repairs do require. Not by any means are they too heavy or anything. Uh, do we want to leave the padded gloves on? I think we do. Oh, I can't put the bandolier mod on those. A little bit saddened by that. I do want to kind of toss that bandolier mod on one of the articles of clothing that we have. We do also have a skill point available to us. Honestly, before I worry too much about the skill points and stuff... Uh, to be, yeah, I could worry about that when nighttime hits. For now, we still have a few more hours in game time of daytime. Let's put that uh, to the best of our usage possible because there is the, like the crack of bookstore that I do want to get over to. I have no idea what Prowlin' Pete's is. I've never looted up one of these locations, I don't think. Looks like it might be like a, a food store or like a diner of some sort. I'm actually quite curious to see what that's about, but crack a book, baby. We might be able to pick up and learn some very nifty skills from looting this up, and, well, it's gonna be a pretty cool location in general, but we got to be ready for battle. Oh, I saw the shadow! You demon. Oh, oh that's just the flag waving over there. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to uh, try to shoot this thing down. Nope. Come on, burb. Come on, burb. Oh my god, dude. It's got the freaking serpentine maneuvers. There we go. We skeet shooting, baby. Took that thing down nice and easy. Oh, we have drawn the attention of some of our uh, zombie neighbors. Well, please allow me to introduce your face to my stone. Sledgehammer. So it's not just a stone. It's a bit more elaborate than that. I got to, you know, put some respect on its name. Yeet. Let's go ahead and break through some of this stuff because uh, that's the way that I want to get in. Very over the top. I know that there's probably a more sophisticated way of getting in, but... Eh, I don't feel sophisticated at the moment. Okie dokie. Hello, hello. You dead, bro? Yeah, that thing's dead. Hello, dude. It's kind of dark in here in general. Okay, we actually gotta... I gotta let my stamina regenerate for a second. I just noticed in that lower left-hand corner, our blue bar, right? Uh, <laughs> it was kind of completely empty. I was I was going a bit crazy with the swangs, you know, but a... Hey, Let's go crazy with the swings. Oh, on some... Uh, hopefully I don't get swarmed from behind. Zabies! Sayonara. Teal face, teal face. 
Whether it's sports bag, let's get to loot. Is this a two story? I kind of think there might have been a second story there. Definitely a darker location than I recall, but luckily we do have our headlamp, which is nice and that dude, I think they actually revamped this place with the newest Alpha 19 updates. As we know, Alpha 19 did introduce a lot of like location revamps, both visual and kind of like actual like placement of things. And this is looking like a freaking dude, quite the exquisite Barnes and Noble. Except someone did leave quite a quite a bit of a mess, but we got like piles of books here on the ground. I'm not looking for the paper though, bro. That's not the kind of paper I want, all right? If we're talking like paper, like give me that paper, like that cash money paper. Okay, I'll take some paper. But literal paper? No, that's gonna be a pass for me, bro. And there appears to be quite a lot of paper to go around. Well, hooky ducky. Ooh, we did just get a skill point or a perk over there. We can sneak 5% better at nighttime. I'll learn that. We did also just learn the crucible schematic. Or I should say, we just learned after clicking that the crucible schematic. So we now have that available to us. What is this? I can craft drum magazines. Ooh! That'll be a very good weapon modification for some of the rifles and whatnot. The drum magazine mod, of course, is gonna... I mean, it is gonna give us quite an expanded magazine size. Definitely depending on the gun that we put it on. That could come in rather in handy, dude. There are so many books in this bookstore. Although, I am a little bit saddened by the fact... Oh, I already know that I could sell that for 160 bucks. I'll take it. I am... Oh, zombies. Where are these things? Ah, oh, there you go. Hello, librarian. I have a complaint. Uh, uh, I don't really, I don't know. I don't know. I, I couldn't think of a complaint in time, so you didn't die fast enough. That's my complaint. I will be leaving it with your employer. Where's the boss zombie who runs this joint? Oh my god. So many bookshelves, though. Like the, I don't know. I like the bookshelves better because they actually stay, right? Like with those piles of books on the ground, once you loot them up, they completely disappear, which is a little bit of an L, because that means that we're not going to be able to come back and re-loot the piles of books, because after a certain amount of days, loot does respawn throughout the various locations that we have visited, if we do adventure far away enough. That's the way kind of like the 7 Days that I loot respawn system works, is that if you are far away, and you wait a certain amount of time, it will actually completely restock, but I don't know if those things that disappear will necessarily restock. Hello! But I think we just learned how to craft up a compound bow is that how how complicated is that gonna be so we got to get a workbench and some bow slash crossbow parts so okay okay a little bit complex i currently don't have access to such things but i have access to quite a lot of literal paper <laughs> that i do all right i hear some zombies causing up a bit of a ruckus out here hey don't you be attacking trader joel's establishment this is a mighty fine location and i will not allow that to go down like that yeah but uh yeah that is the plan right now just trying to do a little bit of looting definitely want to hit up the cracker book ideally before nighttime hits there's a lot of books low-key for us to actually loot up like i already missed some over here yeah we got to do a lot of looting here and honestly looting does also give us experience as y'all can see in the bottom right hand corner we get a little bit every time we do loot everything obviously killing zombies is going to get us more but we'll encounter zombies across like on the way We'll take them down, we'll level up, and we'll continue uh, preparing ourselves for that first Day 7 Horde. I do think for the first Day 7 Horde, I'm just going to try and kind of reinforce and kind of survive in an existing structure. Then ideally after that, we start working on fortifying our own base and actually like, you know, building it up and using like freaking concrete walls and all that. And wow, it just got significantly brighter in here for some reason. I have no idea why. Am I tweaking? Maybe just because I'm looking at this extremely dark floor. Who knows? Bookshelves! Can you guys have like some cool secrets and perks, please? I would like something a little bit more exquisite than what I have been getting. Not to complain, there's some pretty nice reads here, but... What was that? Okay, I thought the floor was collapsing under me. I... I genuinely don't know what collapsed, but something broke. And I fully expected myself to come freaking barreling through the floor. That is usually what happens when I hear that noise. Not a noise you want to hear when you are looting in seven days to die. I tell you what, but yeah, man, I just want to level up. I want to progress and I want to get my hands on some of those better weapons. Are you dead? Yeah, it's definitely dead. And just get our hands on some better weapons, get a nice stockpile of weaponry, because even for this first day seven horde, like currently, our most deadly weapon is this level one pistol that we found in a toilet. So pretty much our savior is going to be the toilet. And not because like it was there when we were in our time of need, but it just kind of blessed us with a pistol. You know, who'd have thought the toilet would be the savior, the hero, not the one that we needed, not the one that we deserved. Uh, how, how's that go? 
Not the one we deserved, but the one we needed. Yeah, that is the toilet to this series of Alpha 19 thus far. But yeah, I think this... And I mean, the hunting rifle is unfortunately a pretty slow firing weapon. One shot, you got to reload. Double barrel shotgun, two shots, you got to reload. So in terms of like self-defense, we're going to be very reliant on our pistol. Even if we could just find an extended mag for the pistol, that'd be dope. Like, I don't think we're going to be able to craft that extended magazine mod. That's, yeah, we, I don't have access to steel yet, bro. It's like day three. All right, cut me a little bit of slack. I'm working towards it, all right? Oh, I do hear zombie noises. And nighttime is about an hour and a half and seven days to die time away. So I gotta be a little bit cautious of that as well. You can hear him right outside the window. Let's continue doing some loon. Oh. Uh, maybe we deal with these guys before they become bigger problem nighttime. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm glad we are all in agreement. But hey, hopefully everyone is having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety. That only does keep on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything or everything like that. Does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that indeed do. That's exactly what it do do. Yes. So fingers crossed, baby. Ooh, bookshelves. I thought I might already looted these. Honestly, it's just hard to kind of keep track because there's so many bookshelves and they all look the exact same. Like, I kind of complain about the books on the ground, but it's kind of easy because you don't need to worry about leaving them behind because if you see books on the ground, you're like, oh, I got to loot those. But with these shelves, it's a whole different beast, bro. But I think that we may have looted up like this entire half of the store so we can start kind of progressing to the other half of the store. And I'm still convinced there might be like a second floor to this place, bro. Like, I don't know. Hello, loud noises, very loud noises and lots of them. Okay, well, I don't know about a second floor, but there's definitely a freaking ceiling. Oh my God, it's like a SWAT team. They're breaking in there. They're calling in the reinforcements. Luckily, I got a stone sledgehammer with all your faces names on them. Dude, they are dropping like flies. This thing is seriously my go-to melee weapon, bro. The sledgehammers, it's just a personal favorite, you know? It's hard not to love the thing. I'm gonna break your kneecaps, bro. Okay, well, now that your face is out of the desk, I'll get back to breaking your face. Okay, so there's not a second floor, but there is a roof. A very nice skylight, by the way, I might add, except for the whole zombies freaking ramboing through there, bro. Looking like uh, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell or something like that. <laughs> oh, hello, there's more Billy Bees. What was that? Probably on like the other side. Honestly, before. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh my god, I think I saw our teeth freaking fly out with that doink. Um, okay, they got a tree growing through here. Very nice, very nice, very sophisticated. Interesting little back area. We got the locked area here. I'm on in. Oh my god. This is a bit more complex of a location than I anticipated. I kind of like it. Okay, we do hear some more zombies outside. Oh, that's just like the little backyard. Oh my god, dude, that helmet is saving him. Okay, not anymore. That helmet was saving him pretty darn hard. Uh, is that bees? Oh, that might just be the flies from the dumpster. I was about to be like, don't tell me I'm about to be attacked by zombie bees. What is this, mate? Okay, let's get that stamina back. I am looking forward to, I think, like, the game plan. I think I was talking about this a bit last episode, though. I think that I'm going to want to spend the rest of day three here, and then day four, I want to spend looting the hospital. Then I reckon we're going to head our way back east. Claim our quest. Get another one from that gather supply thing, or get another one from the trader after we turn in our quest. And I just loot up this little roof here to make sure all is good. Oh, oh, noises. Okay, well, we got the nurse over here who appears to not know how to break out of that place. Oh, my God, dude. They got even more of the Rambo squad. Well, hopefully they break out in like the next 20 seconds. Otherwise, they're going to become significantly more annoying to deal with. Come on, ladies. Come on. Let's, let's go. Okay, that's actually not how you get out. Oh, hello. That's how you get out. I can figure it out on my first hit. Yo, we're struggling. Come on now. What's with the struggles, baby? What's with the struggles? Papa Star is here to save the day. Yeah, I'd tell you that in the day saved column. Oh, not the burbs. Not the burbs. Hello, birdie. Oh, man. Nope. Oh, mine. I don't want to make too much noise. I think it draws zombies towards us, right? There we go. But I do want to take care of that thing because it attacks at the most unsuspecting times. Freaking distraction. They're in cahoots. That's what they are. 
All right, though, are we are we are we done? Because it is officially nighttime. Oy vey. Lads and lassies, we are in for a ton of fun. I tell you what. Zambi here. Zambi, 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 Zambi. Come here. Yeah, so now when we encounter zombies, they're all in sprint mode. I don't like when zombies are in sprint mode. Because they are significantly harder to hit. Dude, how did you survive that? There we go. He did. He go. Uh. What is... Doggo! Hello. Goodbye. Shotgun rain, baby. Anyone else want some? Plenty to spare. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, talk about a nifty little chamber. Dude. Ah! What is this noise? I think it's a spider zombie, actually, now that I've had two seconds to think about it. Dude, this is a cool little room. This might just be my new base, man. I kind of like it. I mean, I still got to go down and loot that base floor. Don't get me wrong, but till then. I like this top floor. This is like one of the biggest and most sophisticated bookstores I've ever seen. Let's go a proper bookcase with still nothing in it. We do have some perks here. So the ranger's guide, I can craft exploding arrows. I will take that. Very nice, very nice. Find more junk in loot. Let's go. Uh, do 10% more damage against mountain lions. Okay, well, hopefully I don't have to battle any mountain lions anytime soon. Learn just how to make that more accurate when rapid firing 9mm weapons. Well, that would have been handy when I was getting swarmed by that freaking zombie burb. Uh, we got the Hunter's Journal, 10% more damage against deer. Learn how to make improved fittings, learn how to make the Hunter mod schematic, and learn how to make some muffled connector schematics. And this gyrocopter accessory will get sold at its earliest convenience. Unfortunately, the trader has closed up his shop, shop for tonight. So we are going to have to head over there after daytime is back upon us. But look at this. Look at this. this is what I'm talking about, dude. We looted up a bookstore, but that chest right there has a chance of giving us some guns and good loot. So even though it's a primarily a book slash knowledge slash perk based uh, building that we've just looted up, there are still opportunities to get other goodies. And I intend on capitalizing on these opportunities. Yes. Oh, there might be something hidden behind this. This is one of those like cheeky cheeky little uh little, little little hattie holes there is absolutely nothing good behind that well that's okay that happens sometimes all right reinforced chest come on baby oh we got a little bit more ammo some triple pocket mods triple pocket mods are not too shabby i tell you what we do have some nice pants Ooh. We're gonna be, yeah, we're rocking those pants instead, baby. Okay, okay, we gotta do a little bit of organizing here. As much as I love the military leg armor, we just got our hands on some level three armor, which is way better because we can put two things on there. Unfortunately, I cannot put two pocket mods, but we can toss a bandolier on there. Bada bang, bada boom. And we are rocking it. That is gonna drain our stamina a bit, which is a bit of a problem because we do use stamina heavy weapons like this freaking sledgehammer. So it just leaves a little bit less room for error, but so be it. We do have these scrap gloves here and the padded gloves, which we can toss the pocket mod on. So I will take that and wear that. Dude, what is that noise? Why is that piano like that? Oh my god. Is there like a boss zombie outside? Dude, they made seven days to die way creepier this update, man. I've caught myself wetting my pants a little bit too much. <laughs> well, alright, if he comes barging in, I got five shotgun shells, a hunting rifle that probably will not be good in a panic situation, and a little bit of pistol. Dude, I've never heard this music before. And I, I'm, I'm no Mozart, I'm no Beethoven, but this is the type of music you play when someone's about to get absolutely murked by some scary monster. So, ooh, knowledge. I like this knowledge. That's good knowledge. 10 out of 10 with knowledge again. It lets you read that Lady Killer Challenge, where we just gotta uh, kill some female zombies at some predetermined location. Okay, whew. That made the scary music go away. I should take quests on more often. Okay. I spoke too soon, scary music back. And the nighttime is still young, and unfortunately, as much as I'd love to, I don't plan on cowering up in this little office for the rest of the night. I do want to do the rest of the I want to finish looting up this store by the time daytime hits. So, uh. 
Let's hope for the best. <laughs> I'm definitely not expecting the best, dude. I'm genuinely hoping for it. All right, well, no point in crouching at this point. Let's make sure that there aren't any more, like, zombie... Li I, like, I do think we barely did clear out all the zombies that the roof had, which I think subsequently is all the zombies we got to worry about. I do think that there are some zombies, like, outside. Oh, there's a little something in here. What is that, a little backpack? Okay, okay, I'll pop this puppy open. Uh, might want to use a different kind of tool. Yeah, the wrench does a little bit more damage. Although this is causing a lot of racket. A lot of zombies are going to be attracted towards us. I definitely hear, I think, at least two down there. Nothing too spooked to be- Oh, let's go honey, bro! If I get infected again, we're good to go. Honestly, honey underrated. Let's go! Spooky music's gone away. Our abrasion's almost entirely healed, so that's nice. I do still hear that freaking spider zombie. And alright. Let's do a little bit of skeet shooting. Yeet! Sayonara! I think this is a prime situation for the hunting rifle, because like... Dude, I don't know. Hunting rifle just hard to use when you're genuinely being swarmed by zombies, because... Well, y'all just saw, we gotta reload after every single shot, you know? Not the most effective in that sense. Oh my god, that spider zombie though. Yeet! Oh my god, you survived? No bueno. Okay, I, I completely whipped that. Her head was bobbing and weaving way too much. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna shot that spider zombie in the bum. Not exactly the accuracy I'm hoping for. There you go. Goodbye to her. I got 750 experience from her. That's a lot. Dude, his movements are so weird. But the butt shot is always there to be hit. I think there's another zombie on the other side of that wall there. Let's see if we can bait that zombie to come more this way. Because I would like to take out some of these zombies before we head back to the ground floor. Because we're going to be significantly more vulnerable down there. There's not like a ladder or anything like elaborate separating us from the bad guys, you know? Alright, also, I think I did see in the comment section of the last video as well. I saw people saying that I should like loot these things because we can get like potassium nitrate and stuff. So, alright, yeah, we got a few bones. We got some potassium nitrate. I'm not exactly in the market for potassium nitrate at the moment, but I'll take it. Oh my god, dude, we have so much paper. Uh, I'll definitely take it, but yeah, I will keep that in mind for when I am kind of hunting for potassium nitrate. I know I should probably be like a bit more active in searching out for it, but I, I like handling a few priorities at a time, you know? Okay, dude. I know that there are zombies down there. And I, I, I mean, okay, I plan on parkouring down here anyway. So why don't we do a little bit of wall riding? How about that? Try to take these dudes out. Yeah? Oh, ho, ho, there we go. Ah, barely missed that. They don't seem to notice that I'm over bop here. I'll take that as a prime opportunity for a little bit of target practice. Dude, that nurse is a master dodger, I tell you what. She should, she should play for the freaking Dodgers or something. She's dang good at it. I don't know how good she is at baseball, but she's good at dodging. I will give her that. She could be the mascot. Come on, dude. Come on. Stop moving. There's like a there's like a pattern to her head movement and I can't figure it out. Like bobs and weaves. Oh my god. You know what? I should just stop being a derp and move a little bit closer. How about that? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm sick of this! Problem solved! Look at that, shotgun rain. Y'all have a problem? Shotgun rain is the answer to your solution. Doesn't matter what the problem is, shotgun rain will fix it. That's a really cool location. I didn't notice that on my uh, initial scouting run of this place, but that is also like a little bit of like a settlement town that does have various weapons, actually a vault with some weapons hidden in it as well. That should have some decent stuff. I do hear more zombies. I think all the ruckus we're causing is uh, doing a little bit of a disturbance. That's all right though. I should try to save my pistol ammo because this is really, like, definitely worth saving. We have a lot of 7.62 ammo, and, well, I don't know, man. We're definitely not going to go through a lot during this upcoming Day 7 Horde. The first one that we got to worry about, just because, like, 7.62 ammo is a good thing to stockpile. Just because of, like, future weapons we'll get, like, the Kalashnikov 47, various rifles and all that. But until we get those... We have the freaking one bullet a minute hunting rifle, you know? Like the one RPM out here. It's not exactly the, the terror to behold or nothing like that. But alright, we're double backing back through here. We do have a promising-ish looking location. Let's go ahead and break into it with our stone sledgehammer. 
Definitely make sure that we have our pistol out by default, just out of safety. Um, we can attempt to pick this lock. I think we only have three lock picks, so I'm crossing my fingers, y'all. And I don't know if I'm crossing them hard enough, bro. Because uh, that one broke pretty early. And we need a good run of luck because I think this is our last lock pick. And we got to like survive five seconds. And yep. Well, sign hard to that. I'll return to that desk safe at some point. Maybe eventually. That is the problem with early game seven days to die. If you don't have a big old stock pile of lock picks, you can come across some annoying locations. We can craft more of the things, but... Well, we actually got to learn the perk slash skill to get our hands on those first. And even then, it does require... I think we got to get a forge built, which honestly... Once we kind of settle on where we want to fortify and fend off for the night... Honestly, I kind of like this bookstore as our base. is like a bit of a proper one that we could use up. Then we could start kind of like, you know, putting some of our workbenches and whatnot on there. Honestly, I could just put our workbenches. Like, if we want to fend off this bookstore, I could just put like our production over there. Just so we don't have to worry about it being destroyed by the horde. Because the horde will focus on us, not our base. But also if we wanted to, I could spend like five years and break into this thing manually. Unfortunately, I shall return. <laughs> I, I got the rest of this place to loot up, you know. Ooh, store shelves. Oh, do a little bit of actually surprisingly decent stuff. Oh, no. I hear the noises I don't like to hear. I will use our wrench here. Oh, baby. I am over encumbered. I don't like that. But I will use the wrench to break this thing down. And look at some of the stuff we're getting, man. Forged iron bars, mechanical parts, wood, iron, the whole shebang. These are the raw resources we need, baby. We are acquiring them at breakneck pace. Unfortunately, we're also acquiring an over encumbrance, which is not exactly good. We could also go ahead and actually, like, destroy some of these things with that wrench. That wrench is just so handy. Eh, I'll learn how to make coffee. Why not? That wrench is just so handy for breaking down, like, anything you would consider, like, electronic or, like, motorized or really anything that has, like, moving parts or is, like, fancy. You can utilize in... Okay, that one didn't have much. Okay, he's actually dropping some electrical parts. So as long as we get rid of some stuff, I'll scrap those cans, for example. And we picked up some electrical parts. Cool, cool, cool. I am thirsty. Oh, oh, uh, beautiful. Good thing I just found some mineral water. Pure as can be. That's actually, I think, the best water. It's better than the water we can boil ourselves. And we have gone seven days without an accident. Ha! I see what they did there. Uh, dang, pretty detailed freaking posters and stuff here. I'm not gonna lie. We can, of course, scrap up the TV, which is a good way of getting our hands on electrical components and scrap polymers as well. I will learn the compound crossbow and make room for some of those scrap polymers and then we still got a few more things in here. It's a loot up. Daytime is almost back upon us and once daytime hits, I want to go straight. Ooh, we got a quest right by there. Maybe we'll take on that lady killer quest before we take that on, but we still got a little over an hour. Also, ooh. Ooh, moldy bread. Sorry, brother. Actually, I'll get rid of some of these empty water bottles. I need my hands on some wooden frames. Why, you might ask? Oh, this roof, it speaks to me. Star, there's stuff inside of me. Well, 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 Mr. Roof. I hear you loud and clear, cadet. Nope, can't put that down there. Actually, I can. I just got to break this first. Two hits of my sledgehammer, really? Dude, that thing should be disintegrated from one hit. I get that it's a stone sledgehammer, but come on, put some respect on this thing. Okay, does not appear there's anything in this little section. These little, like, roofs do tend to have some hidden goodies. And hidden goodies tend to be the best goodies. This, this just so happens to be a random roof. Okay, well, ow! The roof strikes back! Oh my god. That's not cool, brother. Woo! Bro, these fake broken floors, I don't like them. I do not like them. I will, I will wash my hands. Oh, wait! I don't know what to do. Washing my hands in this might get them freaking dirtier. <laughs> Pistol number two. Oh my god, a hunting knife. Uh, see you later, bone knife. We're moving up in the knife world. Last thing I expected, but let's go. I think that should increase our yield when we do harvest things that do encompass utilizing the knife. I do think we will now get more than we would have before. Y'all need some cleaner sinks, dude. That's all I gotta say. Oh, maybe some medicine? Oh, actually, yes. Some decent ones at that. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna eat up a little bit of the food over here. And 
then after that is done, scrap up some of these tin cans so I have room to grab some of those things. Before we do head to the hospital, definitely gotta drop off some of this loot. Maybe pistol toilet? No, no pistol toilet. That makes me sad, camper. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, the rest of the loot that we should be coming across should primarily be more paper and books. So, I mean, I think we'll be okay in terms of inventory room. What is this? Use no stamina while sneak sprinting. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. If we sneak sprint, we do not use stamina. It is a bit of a slower sprint, but that's a bit cheeky, dude. Actually, oh, I wonder if instead of like, oh. I just heard like a weird like opera type noise. Did anyone hear that? I think I'm just tweaking. Sneaking over trash makes no sounds, bro. This bookstore is just teaching us how to be an expert thief. Ooh. I how to make a shotgun duck bill. Let's go. T minus 20 minutes till daytime does hit. I don't know what sequence of buttons I just hit. Definitely not the proper one. Is that completely with that? And we got a few more bookshelves and a lot more knowledge to go through. Not even counting all the books on the ground that I know I'm passing up. I'll get to those in just one moment. Uh, when sneaking, you always land silently. Oh, nice. Okay, so you can be... Dude, seriously, just all about the stealth this bookstore is. What is this? 10 more percent damage with pistols. Uh, not just pistols. Anything that uses 9mm ammo, but that doesn't encompass our pistols, so... Woo our pistols just became 10% stronger, baby! I will take that. Uh, let's go and make sure that we read up some of the floor books. Oh, wait. They're just glorified paper, unfortunately. But these bookshelves... Also a lot of glorified paper. I mean, paper does come in handy. Like, it, it does have its uses and recipes. Largely, actually, fun fact for shotguns and stuff, but... I could also use them for, like, a cigar, which does help us actually, fun fact, get better prices if you have the, the cigar equipped. You can actually get better, better prices when bartering with the, uh, the guy, the trader fella. Yeah, Joel, that dude. Uh, bookshelf, bookshelf, bookshelf. Get inside my belly. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that. That usually signifies a zombie dog. Am I about to be swarmed by things that come flying out of this barn? I will take that as a yes. Seven days to die? I know you too well. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still, I'm very sketched by that thing though, dude. That thing usually signifies a freaking zombie dog waiting to tear our face off. That's legitimate corn. Oh my God. This is the coolest bookstore ever. They have legitimate corn and bees. I don't know what the bees are about. They're flies. They're just, that might actually be the flies from the dumpster out back. I think. Oh. Weapon flashlight. Nice, nice, nice. I'm surprised we haven't come across more duplicates. Like, even just this one bookstore. We are learning how to craft so much and learning so many different, like, just perks and stuff. Like, oh, baby. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? 20% more damage to land claim property? Blah. I don't really use land claim blocks, so I don't know how big that'll be. I mean, it's kind of a good reason to use a land claim block now. We can actually gain, uh, whatchamacall. Some cool stuff there, and I'm gonna start leaving, start leaving this paper behind because we have so freaking much at this point, dude. <laughs> we have too much. And okay, so I think we've pretty much come full circle in that regard. Let's start. Okay, so we got all those pile of books on the ground. Nothing. That's a paper bookshelf, actual bookshelf. Where are the books? We're not finding them. Unfortunate. Oh, ah. Uh. All right, I definitely want to pick that up. We can sell that for a few bucks, 100%. Uh, suppose, I suppose I will drop the stone. It is not too hard to come across more of those. They are very plentiful in the outdoors. I know, I know. Who'd have thunk? A uh, pile of books. It's a big old pile. Fortunately, that's not what I'm looking for. All right, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's get that stone axe up in here. I do want to finish doing this up because I do want to get on towards that freaking hospital adventure. But obviously with our leveling up too, I do want to work towards getting a vehicle. I mean, I'd like to go straight to the mini bike, and okay, I can sell that for a pretty penny too. What do we drop though? Probably, yeah, man. I'll just say, mm, I'll just get rid of these running shoes here. They give us a bit of like, like resistance compared. Like I don't know, this is actual armor. It gives us like protection, whereas these just give us like a little bit of heat resistance and stuff. I know running shoes used to help you with running, and they had like a little perk. But th these don't seem to have it. I wonder if that was taken out in Alpha 19, because I swear running shoes used to help you with your running stats in one way or another. But, okay, we're done with this little central area. 
We are... Oh, we still got this bookshelf here. Nice, dude. That would have been an L to miss. We would have forgot on the freaking foregrip. And I think all that we have left at this point is this little back section. And then finally, we're in the clear. I can craft steel clubs. That'll be nice whenever we get our hands on steel. Oh, mama. Robotic sledge. Yeah, I want that. Oh, my God. How do we craft this thing? I love it. Robotics parts? How do I get robotics parts? Well, okay, I want to get to the bottom of that because that is dope, my guy. How do I get robotics? I, I don't even... We got to, like, somehow loot those or come across those or buy them because I ain't seeing them in the freaking crafting menu. So suppose that's a dump, something that we definitely want to be conscious of. Bookshelves. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? 50% less damage from collapsing mines. All right. Well, I, if we're taking 50% less damage, that's a, that's a deal. I'll be sure to collapse more mines on us. Let's go. That is a huge pickup. We just learned how to make the workbench. Normally, if we want to do that, we might have to, for example, actually invest in that, uh, in that, in that perk tree, so to speak. Because there's like a certain perk tree, you got to put in skill points to it to get that. But if you find a schematic, you don't necessarily have to do that. So we can kind of put that off for a bit. We learn how to make the hunt and rifle. I think that's actually the first gun we really gain knowledge of. We also learn how to craft 9mm ammo. So our knowledge is definitely expanding quite nicely. Let's make sure that we loot up some of those bookshelves on the sides. Because they have a good chance at having some okay stuff. And I completely forget about them a lot, it seems. And... With all that, I think, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, unless I'm mistaken, which I very well might be, because there are a lot of books in this place, dude. I think we have done it. The cracker book has been looted from head to toe, from basement to ceiling to rooftop to whatever you want, whatever. You, a lot of looting. A lot of looting. Oh, hold on. We got a few piles of books over here. Again, if it's paper, like, it's not the biggest deal. I will just come across that in our... In our travels at some point, one way or another, anyways. Oh, someone crashed into here. That's rude. Ah! Dang it, man. And they're just stepping on, like, little wooden panels on the ground, like these things, right? What is collapsing under my feet? I cannot piece this together, but... Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I believe we've looted up everything that this place has to offer, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I could have also just walked in through the car crash now that I put two and two together. Regardless... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, so there you have quite the big loot run of the crack of book and with a fresh day upon us. I'm telling you, I want to head out to none. Ah! Other than the hospital for a big looting run. And it is day four, so Trader Joel should actually have a fresh stock of loot. So as soon as we drop a few things off, we should be able to uh, fandangle a pretty good time together. If you ask me, I love this hunting knife, by the way, dude. Talk about flying. But yeah, y'all, with all that said and with all that done, I definitely think we had a productive day today. We learned a lot of schematics, got a little bit of raw resources we are going to be dropping off. Obviously, at some point, we do need to consolidate all of our resources into a single location because we do have kind of that little outpost to the east that is holding on to some stuff. And then also this base over here that we are utilizing. And ideally, once we get a vehicle of some sort, even if it is of all things, the freaking bicycle, man, I'm never a big fan of it. It's goofy. It's lovely. But I do like going straight to the motorized mini bike if we can ideally get that going that'd be big and we just got the workbench which is required for it we do already have like an engine and some lead car batteries like oh, the pieces are coming together and i do also have some of these perk points that i do intend on using still not 100 percent sure what i do want to put them into but definitely something they will be put into and ideally we can pick up some more quests continue leveling up and getting some loot and well day seven is slowly but surely approaching so we do need to be prepared for that. But yeah, when we return that hospital, I want to loot it and I want to loot it bad. So yeah, that sounds really bad out of context, but the context makes sense because we're in a zombie apocalypse. So yeah, we're going to go loot that hospital. Have a great time. 10 out of 10. We'll loot again. Well, actually, I don't know if I can give that a 10 out of 10 rating yet. I, we got to see what that hospital is all about, but I imagine it's going to have some really, really good loot. And these drums are freaking intense that have been playing this entire time. But uh, yeah, looking forward to fending off this first day seven horde and making some progress and ideally start building up our own little base as well from scratch not I, I like fortifying places but i do like building and giving places our own character as well so there's some fun to be had for sure but with that said with that done that's gonna go to start bringing an end to this episode of seven days to die off at 19 thank you guys a whole time for watching have so it's an awesome one and i'll talk